Penon de Jaraluz Mas is one of the Spanish plazas de Soberania just off the Moroccan coast in the Alberan Sea. It is also one of several pen ones, or rock fortresses, on the coast of northern Africa. Overview Penon de Jaraluz Mas, together with the islets of Isla de Mar and Isla de Tierra, slightly to the west, form the Alus Mas Islands. They are located 300 meters off the Moroccan town of Al Hosima, or Al Usmas, 146 kilometers east of Ceuta and 84 kilometers west of Melilla. The aggregate land area of the group of three islands is 4.6 hectares or 0.046 square kilometers. Penon de Alusmas itself is a tiny rock island, measuring 220 meters east-west and up to 84 meters north-south, with an area 1.5 hectares or 0.015 square kilometers, and a height of 27 meters. The rock is entirely occupied by a fort, several houses, and a church. Isla de Tierra is a steep, 11 meters high rocky platform, 114 meters north of the Moroccan beach, 192 meters long northeast-southwest, and up to 87 meters wide, yielding an area of 1.7 hectares or 0.017 square kilometers. Isla de Mar is a flat, 4 meters high islet, with its western end 93 meters north of Isla de Tierra, 245 meters long east-west up to 70 meters wide, yielding an area of 1.4 hectares or 0.014 square kilometers. Spanish rule dates back to 1559, when several territories belonging to the Sardi dynasty were given to Spain in exchange for help in defending it against Ottoman armies. In 1673, Spain sent a garrison to the island of Penon de Alusmas, and it has been permanently occupied since. The islands are also located near the landing place used by the Spanish and French expeditionary forces in 1925, during the Rif War. Morocco has contested Spanish sovereignty over the islets since Morocco received its independence in 1956. In 2012 the Spanish military garrison in the fort on Penon de Alusmas comprised an infantry section of 25 to 30 men from the 32nd Mixed Artillery Regiment, plus personnel from the Marine Services with an inflatable boat for reaching supply vessels. On 29 August 2012, 19 sub-Saharan immigrants traversed the short expanse of water between Morocco and the Isla de Tierra. These individuals camped on the island, hoping to somehow gain access into the Spanish mainland. They were shortly joined by an additional 68 immigrants on September 2, 2012. Since the islets had an undefined internal status, the immigrants did not benefit from the Spanish immigration laws and, under a joint operation, Spanish troops tended to the women, children, and medical needs of the immigrants, then turned them back over to Morocco. Moroccan forces promptly deported the individuals across the Algerian border. The Spanish army has since stationed a small camp on the Isla de Tierra to discourage new attempts to illegally cross into Spanish territory. The handling and deportation of these individuals have been criticized by the Ombudsman of the Spanish Parliament, the Defensa del Pueblo, and by various NGOs and organizations.